Senior official says the U.S. shot down a Chinese balloon off the Carolina coast. That move ending speculation about what would happen to the balloon days after it was first spotted entering U.S. airspace. ABC's Phil Lipoff has more. The United States bringing down a Chinese balloon that was traveling across the United States earlier today spotted over parts of North and South Carolina. I ordered the Pentagon to shoot it down on Wednesday as soon as possible. They decided that the best time to do that was it got over water outside within our within 12 mile limit. It successfully took it down. In response, the FAA temporarily closing airspace for parts of the two states, issuing a statement that reads in part, the FAA has paused departures and arrivals to support the Department of Defense in a national security effort. Despite China claiming it's a civil aircraft blown off course, U.S. officials insist that is not the case. But the key here is we don't know what it's looking for. Is it, is it taking pictures? Is it doing signals intelligence where it's intercepting communications? But the thing that's perplexing here is that the Chinese have the ability to do these things from space where they wouldn't be violating U.S. sovereignty. On Friday, Secretary of State Blinken postponing his trip to China set for next week, saying now is not the time to meet. I made clear that the presence of this surveillance balloon in U.S. airspace is a clear violation of U.S. sovereignty and international law. The Chinese foreign ministry saying we respect that. Pentagon officials claiming the balloon has a large bay of technology attached underneath it, about the size of three buses, adding it was maneuverable. Phil Lipoff, ABC News, New York.